order to repair your E2 error, you'll first need to download the Cronus Max firmware downgrade tool, as well as the Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.5 and the Visual C++ for Visual Studio 2012. Before continuing, you'll first want to be sure to remove any Bluetooth adapter or controller you may have plugged into the unit. You will then want to plug the unit into your PC using the PC program port located on the side of the unit. Once the unit is plugged in, you will notice it's flashing the E2 error again. Simply flip the unit over and you will see a small hole located on the back of the unit. You will then want to find a paper clip or other small object that will fit inside of the hole. You will press on the button twice, flip the unit back over, and you should see a P symbol. You are now in programming mode. Now, you will want to right click on the Cronus Max firmware downgrade tool and select Run as Administrator. Next, you will just have to click the one click quick recovery button at the bottom left of your screen. The unit will program and you will be good to go. With your device still plugged in, load up GTuner. It will prompt you for a firmware update. Just click Next and follow the steps. This will update your device to the latest firmware and will allow you to use your device with the latest version of GTuner Pro. Your device is now ready for use.